We've got a new camera, so if you've got the bandwidth, click the gear icon in the corner of the video player, select your preferred quality, and enjoy the video in HD. I'm Tom Johnson of Thomas Johnson Antique Restoration in Gorham, Maine. This is a really nice chest of drawers. It's actually a desk. You see there's a little, what we might call a butler's desk in here. This piece of furniture is marked. It was made by a company called Joseph L. Ross School Furniture, which is very odd. It's not a piece of school furniture. I've looked online. They show all their school furniture. They don't show any piece as nice as this. And this is probably from the uh, 1860s, 1870s, made in Boston. And it's probably uh, pine and all veneered with rosewood veneer. So we've got a ton of veneer re repair work to do, and then we've got to restore the finish. It's got lots of loose places. It has some feet. They're in the drawer here. We'll attach the feet because this is also a drawer down here. It's missing a lot of veneer. On this side, we have big areas that will replace all together. The other side isn't too bad. It's more intact than anything else. So we have a lot of veneer to glue down. I thought the top was marble. It certainly looks like marble. But as soon as I started working on this, I realized uh, the big tip-off was this area here where the paint is all chipped off. It's actually a piece of stone of some sort. And then it's been uh, marbleized. All right, starting with the desk lid, I'm going to remove it and then the drawers and start gluing down any loose material that I can find. We've got all kinds of pieces of veneer here and also a missing knob we've got. And these are feet that I think are probably the original feet. We'll know better when I turn this over and look at the bottom of it. Look like ebony. Yeah, this uh, particular drawer front has quite a bit of loose veneer. Once I'm sure that I can uh, access all these loose places, then I'll start working the glue in. Because the feet were off of this piece, and it was sitting on the floor just like it is, I'm not even sure the owner knew there was a drawer here. This is the bottommost drawer. I've got to re-veneer the entire front of the drawer. Luckily the drawer needs to be re-glued, so I'll take it apart, and that'll make the veneering a lot easier. Uh, I need to remove this old veneer, uh, scrape it down, and cut new veneer. I bought a pretty good sized sheet of two-ply veneer. In other words, it's backed. It makes it much easier to work with. I needed a big piece. So for my drawer front, I'm going to take out a piece right here. This big pattern here is very similar to what I see on this piece of furniture. Okay, here's the drawer front. I'm ready to glue down the veneer. Uh, since this is entirely uh, new veneer, I'm going to use yellow glue. Okay, I don't think I can fit any more clamps on here, so we'll see what it is tomorrow. <clears throat> okay, so now I gotta trim these edges because I gotta veneer the chamfered surface and then veneer the top. This chamfered edge is uh, its just impossible to clamp. There's no way to clamp it. So what I'm going to do is put down my uh, high glue and then as it cools as quickly as I can, I'm going to apply my strip of veneer here and uh, press it down with a block, a rubber block and then a metal block. This is a technique called hammer veneering. I can feel the glue tacking up and it's starting to grip that piece of veneer. 
At this point, I'm going to switch to my piece of metal, which is really the front end of a three-in-one plane. It's a nice flat piece of metal. It's starting to feel pretty solid. I'm going to keep doing this. I'm just pushing it down with a moderate amount of pressure until I feel like it's solid. I've cut about six of these. I may have to even cut more, but I'm not going to use this uh, really light sapwood part. Probably not use hardly any of this rose color part, mostly uh, the darker part there. These are a couple pieces I've already glued down, so I'll trim this off and then start piecing together the veneer I need to come down here. And of course I've got to cut a, a, a 45 in the corner there. Sometimes, rather than try to slice it, it's better just to chop it. So now I'll tape these into position. I think I'll cut my 45 after I glue it down. So I'm just going to keep working my way around the perimeter of this, uh, patching in the pieces wherever it needs them. So now I've got to trim my new veneer to this inside edge. And also uh, trim it out on the outside edge. Okay, so now all this edge on the inside of the lid is all the veneer is glued down and repaired. Now I've got a bunch of Loose veneer on this side, I've got to glue down and do some patches. It seems to have gone down uh, pretty well. So now I've got to do the top edge along here. It seems like it went down pretty well on this edge. Now I've still got to cut out where the mortise is for the lock and then I believe that this desk lid will be ready to finish. I made some marks where that mortise is located. So I'm a little unsure of these lines exactly, but I know I can drill down right in this area here and then start cleaning it out. <laughs> 